How much is a cylinder head upgrade worth on a 5 liter Ford? Is it 20 horsepower, 50, 100? The answer is actually yes. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and as always, yes, sweep, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about 5 liter Fords, more specifically 5 liter Ford cylinder head upgrades and most importantly, how much power are cylinder heads actually worth? Well, the question is always the answer. It depends. I've run tests where we've upgraded the cylinder heads on a 5 liter Ford only picked up 15 or 20 horsepower. I've also run tests where we picked up more than 100 horsepower. So the question is, which one of those is right? And the answer is both. It all depends on the test motor. If we run a cylinder head upgrade on an otherwise stock motor, the gains that you get, not very much. If you run it on a modified motor that has a good intake manifold, camshaft, and maybe extra displacement, you're going to get big gains. The gains that you get have nothing to do with the head. The head's there. It's ready to go. It has everything to do with a test combo. Need more convincing? Check it out. Okay, guys, let's jump right in and find out how much cylinder heads are worth on a 5-liter Ford. And the reality is, <laughs> as always, it depends. And that's, this is what I'm trying to show you in this video. And that's that the gains that you get from the head are wholly dependent on your combination. They're dependent on the other things that you have, displacement, compression, and really, in this case, primarily, the, the two other things that help make this thing make power. Now, displacement does do that, but the intake manifold and the camshaft both can be very restrictive in terms of what kind of power you get from the cylinder heads. And I'm going to show you a perfect example where we added a really good set of heads that would otherwise add have lots and lots of power to a combination and they really didn't add that much power because they were restricted by two other things so when you're looking at upgrading a five liter Ford the things that you should look at obviously doing a stroker version a 331 or a 347 that's obviously good but if you have a 302 you also need the intake manifold and camshaft to go along with your upgrade otherwise you probably shouldn't upgrade the cylinder heads and I'm going to show you exactly why on this test so let's jump right in take a look at our test motor so we have a 302 Ford. This particular one had a flat top piston with valve release so that we could run a bunch of camshafts. It had a stock block, stock crank, stock rods, but the, the Ford's flat top pistons. This thing had a set of, we ran it to begin with, with a set of stock 5 liter E7 TE heads. And when I say stock, they weren't quite stock. There were no, no porting done, no, no change in the valve size or valve job or any of the, anything that would affect the flow rate. But we did, because of the other things that we were running, make a couple of changes to it. One, these heads were not in very good shape when we got them from the junkyard motor. These things were milled so that they, they that put the chamber volume down around between 59 and 60 cc. So it's closer to 59. So we got a little bit more compression than stock, but we also modified them to put different valve springs in them because we were going to be running different camshafts with them later on in another test. And also we upgraded the rockers. We didn't run the stock stamp steel bolt down rockers. We actually ran um, roller rockers with guide plates. So the roller rockers obviously would help power a little bit, but we didn't change the ratio. We still had the stock 1.6 ratio on these. We also ran, like I said, the stock heads. We ran the stock HO camshaft that came with it. We ran 36 pound injectors. We ran the stock HO upper and lower intake manifold and stock throttle body on this thing. We did run hooker inch and five eighths long tube headers with collector extensions on them. We ran this with a uh, fast engine management system back in the day and control, like I said, control the 36 pound injectors. This thing ran best with about 35 degrees of total timing. And we had a timing curve built in because this was an EFI deal. We ran all this testing on 91 pump gas and so here is what happened when we basically ran this stock uh, stock throttle body stock ho intake manifold stock flowing heads stock camshaft on our 302 it produced 261 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 318 foot pounds of torque but here's what happened. This is interesting. Here's what happened when we did a, a cylinder head upgrade on this. Now, we did a cylinder head upgrade before we did anything else. And in my opinion, we should have done it in, in another way uh, after putting the camshaft and or hopefully the intake manifold upgrade on this thing. But we added a set of Airflow Research 165 heads because we are going to be doing a series of other things with this. 
and, and changing everything basically. But in this case, we did the cylinder head test first. And, and this was an interesting thing because here's what happened. We put the Airflow Research 165 heads on. These things had 58 to 59 cc chamber. So it wasn't the big change in static compression. They did add power. And as we would expect, the Airflow Research heads float a lot more than the factory head does but they didn't add very much power. And the question is, why didn't they add very much power? Is that because the Airflow Research 165 head isn't any good and doesn't add any power? No, because we've seen them add, and I'm gonna show you in the next test where an Airflow Research head adds like 100 horsepower. But these things push power up to 277 horsepower. So we got like 16, 17 horsepower. Most of the gains uh, are, are above 3,500. Down low, we saw maybe a little bit here at 2,500. But, you know, that's just kind of the way that the motor's loaded in. Um, we did make a, a little bit more torque too, 322 foot-pounds of torque. But you can see gains, you know, not dramatic for what we normally associate with a cylinder head upgrade. But now let's take a look when we do the same test, when we add a cylinder head on a combination that had the other two things. In fact, it had three other things already going for it and could use the head flow. Okay, guys, we just demonstrated how much power a cylinder head upgrade is worth on basically kind of a real stock 5 liter 302. Does that mean you shouldn't upgrade the heads? No, you should just look at what's restricting the gains that you might get from the head flow. And I'll show you a perfect example. This motor basically has more of everything compared to that 5 liter test compared to the 302 test. And let's take a look at our test motor. This one had more cubic inches. It was a 333, meaning it was a 40 over, and it had a 3250 stroke crank. It had forged rods and forged pistons in it, and we had valve relief set up so that we could run lots of different cylinder heads, and we also had a camshaft in this thing, unlike the previous combination. So this thing was equipped, uh, and it, the, the little stroker was equipped, and this was 10.4 to 1. We had a Comp Extreme Energy 274 cam. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here as always. <laughs> it's kind of the go-to camshaft for a lot of the stuff that we do. We had a dual plane intake manifold, so again, this was carbureted but that particular intake is way better it makes a lot more power flows more and can support more power than obviously the factory ho upper and lower in that tiny little stock throttle body we had the same inch and five eighths hooker super comp headers on it we ran this thing with our stock e7te heads <clears throat> naturally the heads like previously um, had a were set up so that they had valve springs to run with this kind of camshaft and we actually had uh, roller rockers on this combination as well this thing ran best this was run way back you can see 2003 so <laughs> a long time ago um we ran this combination first with the stock heads and run with the stock E7TE heads. This little stroker, the cam stroker, carbureted cam stroker, produced 352 horsepower. So it did fairly well given the stock cylinder head flow of 165 to 166 CFM. This thing was doing fairly well, kind of taxing the head flow of the stock head and peak torque is up at 400 foot pounds. But now let's take a look and see what happened when we did a cylinder head upgrade and I ran a lot of different cylinder heads and all of them offered big gains. This was the Airflow Research 185 head. You can see power output jump by almost 100 horsepower. We are up at 400 or yeah, 448 horsepower. So up near 450 horsepower. Peak torque was up 445 foot pounds of torque. The gains offered by the cylinder head, you, you know, for you port volume guys that are concerned about, oh, we're going to lose a bunch of low speed power by putting the bigger head on. No, this thing was better basically from 2500 RPM all the way up. Big gains in power, big gains in torque. So the question becomes, if we look at the previous test, do does a cylinder head upgrade do that? <laughs> or does a cylinder head do this? Because I can show you lots of other tests where we've gained near this amount of power from, you know, good Brodex heads or Dart heads or, or Edelbrock heads or other different kinds of heads. Airflow Research or Trick Flow are not the only ones that gain that kind of power. The question isn't that. The question is, how much power are cylinder heads worth? And they can be worth this much. They can also be worth 15 or 20 horsepower like we saw in the previous test. The answer is that you, we had all of the other things going for us in this test. We had, com we had compression, we had displacement, but most importantly, we also had camshaft and we had cylinder head flow. Now, if we were to run an even bigger camshaft on this combination, 
or a different intake manifold like an IR setup or a single plane or a tunnel ram or something like that, we might see even bigger gains because this head will certainly support more power. So the point is when you're looking at changing one thing, the amount of power that you get from that one singular upgrade, like a cylinder head or a camshaft or an intake manifold, depends wholly on what else is going on with the rest of your combination. <laughs> Hope you understand. I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And this is especially important on a 5 liter Ford because it has three big things holding it back. It has the heads, the cam, and the intake manifold. And if you only change one of those, you're not going to get big gains.